Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell and Spron 5290 two in one computer. I'm going to show you a teardown or disassembly video so you can see how to access various components in the computer. So, first thing you want to do, guys, power down the computer correctly, make sure it's off and unplugged. We're going to flip it over to access your screws to take off this bottom case of your 5290. You have two screws here on the left, two screws down bottom middle, and two screws here on the right. Once you've taken those screws out, you can take a small flat plastic pry tool, maybe like a guitar pick, uh, and you can go across the seam all the way around and very slowly um, wedge or pry the screen off of this bottom case. So nice and slow, don't push it in too far. You don't want to scrape or damage any of the components or wires too far into the computer, but right on the edge, nice and slow, be patient. Even if you have to go around a couple times, you can get that screen off. After that, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer inside, I usually have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either a mat or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the internal components of your computer. There'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store uh, for suggestions on tools and supplies if you guys would like that. Before proceeding further into the computer, the first thing you want to always remove or unplug is your battery. Again, we're trying to get as little power running through here as possible. Um, that's why it's unplugged and off. That's why it's on an anti-static mat. So the next thing I'm, I'm going to show you how to do is remove this battery. You have four screws where these arrows are, and then the battery is plugged in right here. So remove this piece of black tape, and that's your battery plug and port right there. And instead of pulling on the wires, like in any computer component, we don't pull on the wires. We try to um, wiggle out the actual white plug. So there's a grip on each end of the white plug. You can use your fingernails, a plastic pry tool, a pair of pliers, whatever you have to wiggle out that plug from the port. And then you can remove your battery. The next thing I'll show you is your solid state drive right here toward the right. This is a shield on top. After removing the shield, this is your solid state drive and that single screw will release it and you can get your solid state drive out. This is your Wi-Fi card here. You can see the black and white antenna wire that come all the way down here to your antenna. The Wi-Fi card is also held in by a single screw, just like the solid state drive. Once you take that screw up, the Wi-Fi card will release and you can get that out. This is your fan and heatsink assembly over your CPU right here. The fan is held down by a screw here, a screw here, and the wires plug into a port right here. Smaller than the battery, but same idea. It's a black port on the motherboard and a white plug here. So again, don't pull on the wires, but jimmy or wiggle that white plug out. Again, it has two grips on either side to make that a little easier. And then once you get those out, guys, those are the main components in here. You, you have the motherboard right here that's held in by all these screws. You have the speakers and then this auxiliary board here. Um, so there's all sorts of stuff you can get at in here, but this is how you get at the inside. That's how you remove the main components of this computer. If you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple of times a day at least. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. And I'll leave you now with a quick word to my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.